Hello Gemini, this is Debs and this is your reading for mid-October 2023. Gems, it's fantastic to be with you. I hope you guys are well. I hope you've had a really, really good start to this month. Now, Gemini, as usual, I was asking Archangel Michael for his advice for your reading. And very quickly, I heard the words under attack and I thought, oh my goodness, okay. And then I heard the chorus of a really old ABBA song. Um, and it's called Under Attack. And I grew up with ABBA because my parents used to love it. So as a young child, I remember growing up hearing ABBA songs. And I found it on my phone. And I'll just very, very quickly um, tell you the lyrics. Because then you may understand that I feel, Gemini, you may have a stalker on your hands. Now, I don't think, Gem, this is something to be really worried about, but you may have somebody that just doesn't want to let you go, okay? It could be pertaining to the fact that this was a lover, as in you may be in a relationship with somebody else, um, and this lover just won't let go, okay? You could be male, you could be a male, you could be a female, but these are the lyrics. Don't know how to take it, don't know where to go, my resistance running low, and every day the hold is getting tighter and it troubles me so. I'm nobody's fool and yet it's clear to me, I don't have a strategy. It's just like taking candy from a baby and I think I must be under attack, I'm being taken, about to crack, defences breaking, won't somebody see and save a heart, come and rescue me now because I'm falling apart. Under attack, I'm taking cover. He saw my tracks, my chasing lover. Thinking nothing's going to stop him now. Should I want to? I'm not sure. I don't know how. Now this is getting crazy. I should tell him so. Really let my anger show. Because waiting at the answer to his questions is a definite blow. I'm kind of certain that's the truth. Guess I'm kind of flattered, but I'm scared as well. Something like a magic spell. I hardly dare to think of what could happen where I'd be if I fell. So, Gemini, you get it, right? Let's get into this reading. Here we go. This is the Gilded Tarot Royale. And let's find out what's going to happen in the situation, Gem. Now, you may have ended a situation with someone, go back to your partner, right? Um, and this person won't let go. It could be that you're flattered, you're excited about the fact that this person wants you, but now they may be getting a little bit obsessed and you don't quite know how to handle it, you know? Yeah, all right. Wow, the devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or somebody who is absolutely obsessed with you, Gemini. All right, so Archangel Michael, what do we have for my lovely Geminis? This is mid-October 2023. Mid-October 2023 for my Geminis. I'm hearing someone say it was really just supposed to be a bit of fun. Oh, I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do now. Now that line in the song, I don't know what I'd do if I fell. Now this could be you thinking, well, I don't know what I'd do if I really fell in love with this person. So you're not in love with this person yet, but they are persistent, Gemini. <laughs> They're persistent. Mm. Right. I'm seeing somebody looking at their phone thinking, oh my God, 12 messages overnight. Okay. They may be messaging you madly, you know. I'm thinking about you all the time. I really want to be with you. Now, if you've ended it, um, this is this person not wanting to, to let that be. Okay. Yeah, so Gemini, Ten of Wands, you're really stressed. You're really stressed. You may be knowing that you're in a very unhappy long-term relationship. You're burdened. You don't want to be in it. But you may be seeing this lover in a bit of a different light. Maybe it was fun and it was really sexy and you felt appreciated and loved. And this person made you feel... I'm hearing as if you're 21 again, but 
you've seen another side of them which could be freaking you out a little bit. You know, a bit controlling, a bit manipulative, occasionally flying off the handle and getting upset, getting angry with you. You now feel as if you're stuck. You don't know what to do. Six of Wands. So Gemini, oh, I'm hoping this isn't the case, but this could have been an affair at work and you may work with this person and you're thinking, oh no, I'm going to see them in the office and I don't know if I really want this affair anymore. Or mm, it's awkward because we've ended the affair and he, he or she doesn't want to let me go. Oh, Gemini. Yeah, I think, to be honest with you, Gem, it fed your ego for a certain period of time. But now it's just getting too much. It's, it's just not fun anymore, right? Three of Wands. So Gemini, you were waiting for your ship to come in in the past. You may have thought, this is the person for me. Wow. This is someone who finds me very attractive. I find them very attractive. We get on really well. You know, the chemistry is there. You had high hopes for this, but I feel as if the energy changed. Yeah, look at that, eight of wands. Because this person either went from being passionate with you to being angry with you or simply became obsessive. I mean, sending hundreds of, of messages to your phone and this is you thinking, oh my God, you know, this is a bit much. In your thoughts, Knight of Swords. Okay, Gemini, this is you, Gem. Um, I've got to be honest, I think you've had enough. I think this is you actually feeling angry now because you feel as if their energy has changed. Maybe this is somebody, Gem, who hasn't accepted that it's over, that it's done. You may have tried to let this person down gently, Gemini, but they are not going anywhere and you're getting worried. You're getting worried. I'm feeling worried for you. Queen of Wands. Okay, um, Gemini, this is you. So I could be connecting with a female Gem who stepped out of a relationship. Gemini, you're coming through as the Queen of Wands. Very attractive. You followed your passion, Gem. But I'm hearing it just got a bit much. It, it, it just became too much. In your fears, Ace of Swords. Yeah. So Gemini, you're fearing ending the relationship you're in. You may have even said to your lover at one point, yes, I'm going to leave my partner. I'm going to leave my husband. Okay, if you're a feminine but now you're realizing that you may not have the courage to do it and this lover is showing a little bit of an unbalanced side of themselves. Now, in all fairness, Jen, they may just be incredibly upset because I think you, you've ended it and they just don't want to accept that. The star. Oh, Gemini. Um, you could be connected to an Aquarian or with a star energy, this is somebody who simply believes that you are their dream come true. You're their dream come true. What you're hoping, Gemini, with the Two of Swords, I have to say, is to push down any feelings you had for this person, block them, and hope that they will get the message. Judgment. Okay, Sagittarian energy. So Gemini, I think you are making the judgment call to stay in your long-term partnership. I think you were very attracted to this person, but it wasn't supposed to move into a commitment. They got it into their head that you would leave your partner. So Gemini, in many ways, they may feel duped, they may feel a bit manipulated, that you may have given the impression to this person that you were really unhappy, that you wanted to leave your partner. So they may have put a lot of effort into this with the view that this was going to get serious. Gemini, I think you hung on to this. First of all, because you were flattered. It, in the nicest sense, fed your ego a little bit. You might have had a guy chasing you. And if you've been married for 10 years and, you know, don't feel that passion with your partner, this might have been very exciting. Mm, but it's now got too heavy. Things escalated, Gemini, and I don't think you meant them to. Now, in the nicer sense, you could be 
having to face judgment day by the divine. This is almost the divine saying to you, Jem, uh, you got yourself into this mess. You've got to get yourself out of it now. You caused this, you know. All right. Um, clarification for you, five of wands. Yeah. So Gemini, uh, a lot of conflict, I think, with your lover. Ace of Cups, a lot of conflict because I think this lover of yours wants a proper relationship and you're now realizing it's a mistake. All right, guys, the Hermit. So your person could be a Virgo or have Virgo in their chart, got Aquarian too. They're looking at the past, feeling very left out in the cold. Wow, because they face the Ten of Swords. They feel betrayed, Gemini. Now, I don't know whether or not you hid the fact that you were married or were in a long-term partnership. They found out. Maybe you guys were dating for quite a few months and they didn't know that you were married, right? And this is someone who feels duped. Underneath the deck, wow, we got the fall. So you took a leap of faith and a risk, Gemini, straight into the energy of the devil. I think then, with the Seven of Swords... I don't know whether or not your guy found out or your person found out that you were married. Or this is you um, being unfaithful to your husband, Emperor, Seven of Swords, Emperor. Now, Gemini, you could be a masculine and, you know, it could be that you decided to patch things up with your wife, with your partner. And this is a female who is obsessed with you. But this is very, very difficult. Very difficult. So, my lovely Geminis, let's get into this and see what comes through. The main message coming through, though, is you've ended things with this lover. And basically, Gemini, they don't want to let you go. And you are not quite sure what to do about the situation now. Because you are, with the Ten of Wands, I think, unhappy in your long-term relationship. But any thoughts of making it work with your lover is now out the window because you've seen another side of them. You've seen another side of them, which is the fact that they're a bit obsessed. They're blowing up your phone. It's really awkward. You don't quite know what else to do. Okay. But Gemini, if you see their side of things, if you see their side of things, they are just dealing with an enormous amount of grief um, because they've realized that this was not going to lead to a commitment. I think they wanted a commitment with you. And they are really struggling with getting over the fact that this is done. So, my gems, you could be anyone in the mix, but let's get into this and find out where this goes, okay? So, Archangel Michael, we've got the Ten of Wands and the Six of Wands for Gemini. Ten of Pentacles, yeah? So, Gemini, you're very stressed in a long-term relationship. But you've been hanging on to it because there's a lot of money tied up in this connection. And with a six of wands, up until this point of time, Gem, I've got to admit, you may have thought you got it all, right? You had a stable long-term partner and you had a hot lover on the side. But what you're realising now is this lover is clinging on to you like a limpet. And they may be so upset, they're about to cause problems in maybe revealing to your partner that you've been cheating. That's, I think, where it's going. This is really difficult, Gem. Oh my goodness. Queen of Swords, yeah, okay. So I could be connecting with a female Gemini. Gem, you may have spoken your truth to your lover. You may have said, look, the blunt truth is, I'm really, really sorry. I was incredibly attracted to you, but I'm not ready to leave my partner for you. Uh, this was kind of supposed to be a bit of a fling. Or, Gemini, if you weren't honest with this person that you were in a relationship, this is you having the courage to express the truth. And they're just devastated. Ten of Swords. They keep looking at this betrayal. It's as if they just can't get over it, you know? What the hell happened? King of Wands. Gemini, you spoke the truth that either you were in a long-term relationship with an Aries masculine 
or you had a king of wands chasing you that you were very attracted to. I mean, you guys, king and queen of wands, you guys are soulmates, but this is you having to tell this guy the truth, right? I'm so sorry, but I'm married and I'm staying married, that sort of thing. Seven of cups, all right, Gemini. I've got to be honest, you may have had affairs before. He, he might have been, he or she might have been in the nicest sense, one of the options that you chose because you were unhappy in your marriage, right? Yeah, okay. Knight of Wands, yeah. So, Gem, this is your energy. You sat in the Knight of Wands. Page of Wands, flirtatiously messaging this person. So they may have known you were married, you may have made out that you were ready to leave your partner, or you weren't honest about the fact you were married, and your lover, Jem, when they found out the truth, um, kind of had a meltdown, right? Went into isolation, sat in the Ten of Swords. So in the past, let's go back to the past, Jem, you sat in the Three of Wands. This was a third party that you were developing, maybe at a distance from your partner, you wanted this because I think you were very unhappy in your relationship, Gem. I think that's what happened. Yeah, five of pentacles. You were left out in the cold in your relationship. So you thought, to hell with it. I'm going to find someone to have some fun with. Yeah, nine of cups. And you certainly did. Oh, yeah. You guys had a great time. You guys had a great time. Page of swords. It may then have got tricky, Gemini, because you may have had to express the truth to this person, which might be, I'm sorry, but to be honest with you, um, I'm with someone else. I'm married. It might have been a blow. It might have been a blow. Yeah. Oh, Gemini. Six of Cups. You had to tell your lover, Gem, that you had decided to patch things up with your partner Maybe because of children. We've got two children here. Or maybe because of the money. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, Jen. Can't make it up. Wow, the Hierophant. You went back to your marriage. You went back to your marriage. You could have gone back to a Torian, who you were married to. I think after that time, Jen, this person completely lost it. Eight of Wands is a lot of messages, maybe a mixture of passionate messages, a mixture of angry messages. They just lost it. They couldn't believe it. They couldn't believe it. Yeah, this is really challenging, Gem. Three of Pentacles. So they were messaging you, basically saying, oh my God, I can't believe it. Really? You, you've got a husband? You, you've got a wife? What's going on here, right? Uh... Why didn't you tell me? I, I'm, I'm in love with you. They may have felt very angry and, and sort of blasted you with angry messages. Then they may have pulled back into isolation, Gem. And then when they realised they missed you too much, they started sending messages that related to wanting to build on a relationship with you. Well, leave your person. Be with me. You know, if you're unhappy in your relationship, just let go of it. So this was very challenging. This was very challenging, Gem. You may not have known what, what to do, how to handle this, you know, eight of swords. You didn't know what to do. I think you got scared because they became a bit obsessed with the energy of the devil. You may have just decided not to respond to them again, you know, just cut contact. But you were stressed out, nine of swords. You were stressed out. So Gemini... I think that you did go back to your partner and try to patch things up, maybe for the sake of kids or financial stability, but you weren't happy. And you had an obsessive ex-lover who did not want to accept that this was over. So it was very difficult. So it was um, not easy, Gem. Yeah, four of cups. When you realise that this person might have moved into an unbalanced energy, and Gem, I've got to admit, it may be because of what you did, right? Um, you didn't want this anymore. You were like, oh, God, no, it was great fun. We had a laugh. You're very sexy, very attractive. But, whoa, no, uh -huh. 
this isn't going to lead to a commitment and you sort of backed off big time. I don't want this. This is what you thought about in the immediate past. No, 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 I don't want this. You were fielding off messages, right? Yeah, this is very difficult. You realised that this person was incredibly hurt. Yeah. So, Jem, you may have given this person a heartfelt apology, right? There's no fish in this cup. This is a heartfelt apology. I am so sorry. I just can't do this. I, I can't be with you. I can't leave my partner. Hoping that that will be the end of that. You calm things down with this person. But Gemini, um, what you're thinking about now is I've got to take control of this because they're not letting go. So, Gem, they carried on sending you messages or they carried on um, saying that they wanted to be with you. They didn't want to let you go, that they'd fallen in love with you to the point, Gemini, with the Knight of Swords where you are very angry. I mean, this is you really angry because it's as if, for goodness sake, I, I told you I'm sorry. I told you I don't really want this. Please accept it. But they're not accepting it. So you're coming in like a bat out of hell, trying to let this person know that you're serious. So, Knight of Swords, Gem, what are you saying? Empress, I'm married. I'm married. Please accept that. Please accept that, right, Jem? Yeah, you were just my lover. I'm so sorry. I was very, very attracted to you. We had an amazing time. This is also your card of Gemini. But I chose to stay with my partner. You know? Oh, Gemini. Yeah, eight of cups. I'm sorry. Uh, this really is over. Yeah, you're trying to say to this person, please stop messaging me because, because I don't know what to do with you. It's as if you won't get it. You're not accepting that it's over. <laughs> Gemini. Chariot, you've left, right? You've left. I mean, Eight of Cups Chariot is you're out of there. You're out of there. Gem, you could have cancer in your chart. You could have been dealing with a Cancerian who's a bit obsessed with you. But this is you trying to get it through to this person that you patch up things with your partner. Um, it was great fun, but they have to accept it's over because they're just not. They're not. Now, Gemini, with the Queen of Wands and the Star, I think this is you um, trying to placate the situation because this is you very angry because they won't let you go. And this is you possibly feeling guilty and, and trying to make it easier on this person. So there's going to be maybe a final conversation with the Queen of Wands. You're simply going to say, look, King and Queen of Wands, I was incredibly attracted to you. The chemistry was off the charts. I was very unhappy in my relationship. But after a lot of consideration, I felt I had to go back to my partner. I am really, really sorry. I am really, really sorry. Your person is sitting in the energy of the star, Aquarian energy. They don't quite know what to do with themselves. Um, this is them backwards and forwards in their mind. Yes, it was. Yes, they have had to heal. They're sitting in the hermit in the Ten of Swords, right? Which is utter betrayal and disbelief. But they are also still not really wanting to detach from you, Gemini. I mean, because you're their wish come true. I mean, the star is just you're everything I've ever wanted. So this is painful for this person. And I think this is you realising that. And this is you calming down the energy of the Knight of Swords that you came in with and having a final conversation to try and explain with the hope that they are finally going to let this go. So this is the final conversation between you guys. So Archangel Michael, do we have timing, please, for the Queen of Wands and the Star Energy for my Geminis? Thank you, Michael. End of November. I'm seeing the 28th of November to the 9th of December. Okay. So Gemini, if they still send you the odd message or they still sort of post things on social media that they miss you, you know, 
um, or they're really angry and upset, whatever this is, you're deciding to have a final conversation with them. It's going to be between the 28th of November and the 9th of December. So let's see what you will say to them. Let's see. Five of Swords. So Gemini, you're going to admit that you kind of ran off when this person got a bit obsessed with you. You are going to say with the sun that they made you incredibly happy, that at one point you considered leaving your partner to be with them. Three of swords, but you sat in heartbreak for the longest time because you couldn't make that decision. Because maybe, Gemini, you were in a relationship with the King of Pentacles and this was a very stable relationship financially. You just couldn't face leaving this connection. Nine of Wands. You may admit to this person that you were incredibly unhappy in this relationship. The passion had gone, which is why when you met your King of Wands, who became your lover, you decided just to go for it. But what you're also relaying to this person is that you felt you had no choice but to stay in your long-term connection. What else are you saying to this person, Gem? The hangman, Pisces energy. What you're saying is, look, I completely see your side of things. I completely understand why you're so upset that you swing from being really angry with me to wanting to build a life with me. I understand it. I get it. It's my fault. I should have been clearer in the past about my situation. I thought this was just a light flirtation. It, it, it just got too much. But you're also saying, hangman, I'm stuck in the connection I'm in. I, I just can't leave. I'm seeing someone here, interestingly enough, watching money fall out of their pockets, right? This is all coins here. So, Gemini, it may be that what you're saying to this person in the future is, I could leave, but I'm going to lose too much of my stability. I just couldn't do it. What is this person's reaction? Wow, Knight of Cups, but I fell in love with you, Gemini. I want to be with you. <sighs> what is their reaction? I'm, I'm going to wait. Gemini, it's okay. I'll wait. I'll coast. I, I'm, I'm going to give you all the time that you need. Don't worry. Um, I, I'm going to take the pressure off you. Um, I'm very happy to give you more time. Oh, Gemini. This person is just not getting it. They're just not getting it. They could be a Sag with a Temperance card. What are they saying to... What are they saying to Gemini? They're not wanting to let go. Magician. Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, energy. Um, I'm going to wait. Don't worry. That's fine. I completely understand you need more time. The thing is, Gemini, you haven't said to them you need more time. What you've said to them is, I'm so sorry about what happened. I patched things up with my partner, but I don't want you to be further upset because you're trying to prevent this person causing any more problems in your long-term partnership. You may feel they're going to get to the point where they're suddenly going to pick up the phone and ring your other half, right? Who may not have any idea, Gemini, that you had a fling. What else is this person saying to Gemini? Right, Gem, they're not giving up. I'm sorry. Eight of Pentacles. What they're actually saying is, I'm working on my own stability. Um, I want to be somebody that can support you, somebody that's going to give you a good life. Don't worry, Gemini. If you lose money in getting out of your marriage, I can support you. What are you going to do? Because they are not getting it. They, they are either getting it and they don't want to admit the fact that you're disconnecting from them. Or they genuinely feel that you still love them. Don't worry, I'll wait. Two of Cups, I'm in love with you. Knight of Cups, I, I, I have all this love for you. I'm going to work on my career so I have enough money to support you. So I think I'm definitely connecting here with a female Gemini who's got a masculine who is obsessed with you. Anything else? Wow. Yeah, Gemini, I'm sorry. Two of Wands, they are not going 
anywhere. They are stubbornly digging in their heels, bless this person, and they are not going anywhere. I'm just going to sit and wait. Temperance, two of wands. I'm going to wait for you to make a decision. Jen, they're just not getting it. <laughs> they're just not getting it. What is the energy between these two, Michael? Yeah, tower. Aries, Scorpio energy, tower. You are facing the tower, Gemini, because this person won't let go of you. And it's a shock, right? They are absolutely not going anywhere. They don't want to accept it's over. And they are facing the shock that this is really over. It's, I mean, Hermit, Ten of Swords is, I can't actually believe that Gemini either lied to me, I thought they were single, or I can't actually believe that Gemini's ended it. It's, uh, I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know what to do with myself. And this is you coping with arguments and disagreements with this person over leaving your partner to be with them. I mean, you know, Gemini, at this point of time, you don't want that because this person has shown another side of themselves that makes you feel really uncomfortable. But I'm telling you now, Gem, they're not letting go, okay? So you can be as angry as you want. You could tell this person, I'm really, really sorry. You could try and placate them somehow, but they are just hanging on in there. They are hanging on in there and you don't quite know what to do next. It's as if you're throwing your hands up in the air, as if to say, I don't know what else I can do. This person just won't accept the fact that it's done, you know? Gemini. So Gemini, what are you going to do? You have to make a really serious decision here. Yeah, I knew it. Gem, um, you're coming through as a queen of swords. This is your husband or long-term partner. This is your emperor, right? King of swords. I think you are making the decision to tell your partner that you had an affair. Now, Gem, you may not tell him the whole truth. You may say, look, ah, uh, it was after work or it was when you were away. One thing led to the other. Uh, it was a one night stand, nothing more than that. Um, but he won't let me go. This is becoming very, very difficult. What you're not going to tell your partner, Gemini, is that I think this was a full blown affair that lasted quite a long time, possibly several months. You're going to make out to your long-term partner as if it was a one-night stand. That's what you're going to do. Because then it doesn't sound so bad, right? It was just a one-off. It, it was never going to happen again. Oh, my God. Ace of Wands. Yeah. So you're speaking as a Queen of Swords to your King of Swords, making the judgment call to admit that you had a one-night stand, when actually Gemini wasn't quite right because I think you were with this guy for quite a long time. Six of Swords. So what you're saying to your long-term partner is, look, we've moved to calmer waters. I think the relationship has got a lot better between the two of us, but just so that you know, I've got this crazy ex-lover who uh, may cause us a few problems. Jen, what else can you do? Because this guy is not taking no for an answer. <clears throat> what else is Gemini saying? I'm blocking communication. Um, I said to this person, it's over. Um, I don't want to communicate with you anymore. I don't want to see you again. But they won't get it. So Gemini, you are speaking the truth to your partner. What are you saying to your partner? Yes, I've told this person, says Gemini, that I'm in a long-term relationship and very happy and, and I think it's, things are good between us and my ex-lover won't let me go. I don't know what else to do. You're saying it, Gem, because you are afraid that this person is so unhinged that they're going to do something crazy. Otherwise, why else um, would you be admitting that you had a fling, Right. How is your long-term partner feeling, Gemini, about this? I think, I think they're upset. Four of Swords. They may be a bit shocked. Four of Swords. It's the energy of somebody wanting to detach from you a little bit emotionally and, and just gather themselves together. Okay, wow. Uh, you had a, you had an affair. You had a one-night stand. You were unfaithful to me. 
So, yeah, it's as if, wow, they're needing to take a minute, you know? What is this person thinking about? They're thinking about things, Gem. Oh, Queen of Pentacles. Gemini, I've got to admit, what your partner is thinking about is if Gemini had a one-night stand, Gemini's unhappy in the relationship. Gemini isn't getting what they need from me. And what they're thinking about is Queen of Pentacles. I wonder if Gemini is deciding to stay with me because I'm secure. I provide Gemini with financial security. They're thinking about you, Saturn, the Queen of Pentacles. This is going to be difficult for your person to accept, Gem. Yeah. Okay, now this is really difficult because what they are thinking about now, Gemini, is that you are staying with them because you're financially stable. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, you can't afford to divorce this person. And they're upset about that. This is them realising that you were unhappy, that's why you had a fling, and that you may have pushed this lover away because he got a bit obsessed and he may feel, well, maybe you decided to stay with me because I'm, I'm supporting you or I'm bringing in most of the money. So your long-term partner, Gemini, is pulling back from you and feeling a bit upset. Wow, what are they going to say to Gemini? Holy moly, okay, Gem. Deep breath, six of pentacles. Gemini, your person may talk to you about divorce and this is going to be totally unexpected because what they're realising is you must have been unhappy to have a fling with somebody else. They may know deep down that this marriage was on the rocks, this partnership wasn't working out. And this is almost the confirmation that they needed to talk to you about ending it. Now, this is going to be a shock to you. You only told your partner because you were worried about what your ex-lover would do. Maybe out of revenge. Now, your long-term partner is saying, oh, well, if you're that unhappy, uh, I've been thinking about this. And I think maybe we should talk about divorce. Yes, the world. Oh, well, OK, says Gemini's partner. Uh, well, um, I've been thinking about this. Uh, thank you for telling me the truth. But I believe that we should end the relationship. I believe we should. Gemini, you may be sitting opposite your person having a serious conversation with them. And you may just not know what to say. What? Okay, so you, you, you want to get divorced, right? What is your person going to say, Gem? What is your partner going to say to you? Well, yeah, two of pentacles. Uh, well, if you were undecided enough that you needed to have a fling, then I'm, so, I'm sure we'll sort out the money somehow. But yes, I think we should divorce. This is going to be like a bolt out of the blue. You are not going to know what to do, Gem, and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But yeah. Yeah, this is totally unexpected. This is totally unexpected. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Well, we can sort out child support or um, I will file for divorce. It's almost as if you are sitting there taking all this in, not really believing what this person is saying, what your partner is telling you. And they're doing it so calmly. OK, well, you're obviously unhappy. Um, I think we should divorce. I will sort out the money. Um, I'll obviously give you child support for the kids. We'll sort out visitation rights. Um, I'll go and talk to a lawyer. And you're sitting there thinking, what? You know? How is Gemini's partner really feeling? Five of cups? As if it really is done. As if it really is done. I don't think your partner wants to put any more effort into the connection anymore, Gem. I think they sort of had it. I think they've had it. The death card, Scorpio. They could be a Scorpio. 
This is someone who simply feels this is over and done with. What is on their mind? Yeah, justice. So this is possibly going to be you two seeking legal advice, going through the law courts. They may feel, Gemini, in the nicest sense, that it's justice for them. Because they may feel that you've been hanging on to this for financial reasons. And they may have felt very discontent in the long-term connection with you. And then, you know, for you to admit that you had a fling, I believe this person's just thinking it's game over. They may have known intuitively that things weren't working out between the two of you. And what they are thinking about is, well, why is Gemini staying with me? You know, I think it's because of the financial security and they're upset. Oh, so Gemini justice. The strength card, Leo. Now, if you were having a fling with a Leo masculine, you may want to ensure that they don't find out that you are now actually getting divorced. Because even if you break free and become single, Gemini, I don't believe that you really want to make things work with this ex-lover because you've seen another side of them, right? You've seen that they've gone a bit cray-cray and it's freaked you out. But I think you're going to be moving through this and becoming single. So do we have any final messages for Gemini, the moon, Cancerian energy? So Gemini, you are a little bit nervous. But Gem, to be honest with you, if you were really unhappy in this relationship, this may be the best thing that's happened. You may not think so at this point. You may think, oh my God, what? We're having to go through divorce. I'm going to lose a lot of my stability. It's all become a bit of a nightmare. But when you look back, Gem, you may realise that you wouldn't have wanted to have stayed in this long-term relationship. I mean, why would you have wanted to have a fling if you were happy in your relationship. So even though this is tough, Gem, I think you're going to move on. You're going to have the strength to move on, get through this court case and come out the other side as somebody who is independent, right? Starting your life all over again. Yeah, wow, nine of pentacles. You're going to start your life all over again. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. So there could be a lump sum of money coming in, could be divorce settlement. You may also think of um, moving. What's going to happen in the future for Gemini? Let's just get, I can't leave it like that, my gems. King of Cups, all right. So Gemini, you may in the future move forward with a King of Cups, a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. So that could be your future partner, Gem. Oh my goodness, Gemini's. Yeah, under the underneath the deck, Knight of Pentacles. So you could start a brand new relationship with a King of Cups or a younger Earth sign. But anyway, Gems, I am leaving the reading there. What a reading. I hope, though, it's helped some of you. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Gem.